hello you're welcome to my channel grilled mackerel on the menu today this recipe is a must try the end result came out moist delicious and beautiful kindly sit back and enjoy the process mackerels have high level of essential fatty acids which improves endurance and aids recovery after exercise it also helps maintain beautiful skin that's why it's a good option for me i eat a lot of mackerels and that's because it's loaded with a lot of fatty acids kindly read up on the health benefits of eating mackerel fish and let's have fun in the comment section Where I live, I don't have access to fresh mackerels, so I'm using frozen mackerels. And I don't know how long these mackerels have um, been stored or preserved in the refrigerator. And that's why I'm using lemon juice to refresh in them. Lemon juice removes the stale frozen smell and taste from fish. And it also hastens the cooking time. So when you soak your fish in lemon juice, it starts cooking the fish immediately, even without adding. So you don't want to soak your fish for hours in lemon juice. You will just discover the lemon juice has cooked your fish. So that's why I will just um, use the lemon juice to just wash the fish to take out that smell and to freshen it up. It start tasting a bit fresh yes you want to try this process the next time you're cooking fish you will notice a reasonable difference now we're going to be making little incisions in the fish this is to allow the sauce penetrate deeply into the fish you don't want to have a tasty outer layer and a raw inner layer you want both the outside and the inside of the fish to be flavorful and that's why i always love this process then you i sprinkle some salt on my fish to heighten the taste sprinkling salt directly on your fish just changes everything because salt on its own adds a lot of flavor to fish so you're just building depths of flavors i marinate my fish with a little salt i don't eat a lot of salt i marinate my fish with a little salt and then leave it to you know to cool in my fridge while i make my sauce special shout out to chinwe uzoma guys i watched her grilled catfish video and i was inspired i was like oh i don't have um a catfish video on my channel why don't i make something with mackerels because um that was what was um, available to me at that time and then i added my own twist to the recipe hey guys i'll be leaving the link to her channel in my description box kindly go there and also show her some love tell her you're from delicious army chinwe uzoma i see you i love you thank you so much for your support and appreciation god bless you sis I added some tomatoes to this marinade because I don't want the outcome or the final results to be dry. I want the sauce to still have some moisture in it and that's why I'm adding tomatoes. Add tomatoes and this, it's called rodo peppers here in Nigeria. I don't know the English name for this but please if you know the English name, kindly drop it in the comment section for me. I added my black peppers spring onion one shrimp powder cubes some red onions and from and some vegetable oil for easy blending i also used some three cloves of garlic a thumb sized ginger one teaspoon my homemade shrimp powder and one teaspoon black pepper you allow this blend roughly blended i don't really love my marinade smooth just want them roughly blended so when i'm eating my fish i can you know eat some peppers it's a very simple marinade everything has been added so you just fry it directly on your pan you fry this till oil appears on the surface this shows the marinade is ready at this time but um Towards the end of this process, I added some fresh thyme, 
which was not included in this video i did that off camera i added some fresh thyme and a teaspoon of salt to to heighten the taste and flavor marinate your fish like your life depends on it use your hands use your brush use everything just make sure you stuff in enough sauce into that fish you will thank yourself for it by the time you're done grilling this fish make sure you marinate the inside outside you can see the incisions that were made earlier you can see how the sauce penetrates easily into the fish through those incisions these were the reason we made those incisions they came in handy later on special shout out to vicky's corner hey my sister i love you hey guys vicky's corner is a mom youtuber based in bielsa i want us to go to her channel and show her a lot of love she does reaction videos health talks family vlogs and a whole lot i'll be leaving the link to her channel in my description box please go there tell her you're from delicious annie and support my sister she's a fan she's my day one fan guys she has always been there please let's go and support vicky's corner thank you so much guys leave this to marinate for the next 20 minutes before grilling in your oven Kindly check the fish from time to time and also turn it to the other side so the other side can also grill properly. For my dressing, I used um, four single lettuce and I made a small um, mix. I made a mix using fresh onions, fresh cherry tomatoes and spring onions. That's because um, I love the combination of onions and tomatoes. Whenever I'm having a fish dish, everything here was beautiful. Everything was delicious, guys. The height of flavor in this fish was amazing. I want you to try this in your next get-together. I want you to try this for yourself. It's very simple. You can make the marinade mix a day before. So when you want to make your fish, you just slap it in. It's very simple, very easy, very delicious, very flavorful. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for being a part of my channel. I appreciate you. I love you with the love of Christ. And I wish you a beautiful day ahead. Stay blessed and I'll see you in my other videos. Thank you.